Hi, I'm Rachel Kirschneider. Thanks for joining me today. I know I've spent a little bit of time talking about that whole spring cleaning thing. And what I want to talk about today, it's not really spiritual in a sense, but you know, we women, we're always looking for ways to um, get more time or more value out of whatever it is that we're putting our time into. And it occurs to me that one of the things, I have, I have great girlfriends, absolutely have great girlfriends, and love them to pieces. And one of the things that, uh, that I found from living in different parts of the country, since I was brought up in the South and spent a lot of time in Dallas, um, you know, we used to kid a lot about the fact that we wouldn't even, women in Dallas didn't even go get their mail unless they were dressed. Um, they didn't go to the grocery store. They didn't run up and get gas unless they were dressed. And it occurs to me that, you know, we always know what we look like when we leave the house. We do. I, I don't care. We always know what we look like. And sometimes we think that it takes so much more effort to look a bit more pulled together than not. You know, we think a pair, a pair of sweatpants and a sweatshirt and we're good to go. And what I've learned for myself is that when your closet is organized, um, it's so much easier to get yourself put together. And I have really been working on because for some, you know, for several years I lived in 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 sweats and easy to move clothing because I was taking care of John, right? So I it wasn't like I got dressed every day. And and what I have since learned is that, um, number one, uh, I think that you can, you can look very pulled together in something very simple. It's all about having those default outfits to go to. And I want to, especially for women that are of my age, um, we tend to get into ruts that this works, this works, this works, or we think this looks good, or we've worn this enough that we think it looks good. And the actuality is, is that maybe the pants are too baggy, maybe the shirt's a little too big, and it, we're, it's just not flattering. So I found a book. It's called The Wardrobe Wake Up. And I love it because it is geared to women of our age. And, you know, I don't have daughters, so... I'm sometimes behind the curve when it comes to, you know, what's hip and what's in style and, you know, what the girls are wearing. And what I found out is that that's okay because style is about what looks good on you regardless of what's happening out there in the trends of the fashion world. And um, it's really been enlightening for me to take a step back and organize my closet in a way that makes it really easy for me to go in and grab a pair of pants that I know fit and look good and a shirt that I feel good in as well um, and put them together and walk out the door. Now the other morning I had to catch a flight at um, six in the morning. So I was getting dressed at three in the closet and I was actually enjoying it because uh, I was able to just pull out something, put it together and go. And I looked very, very put together and I felt put together. And I think that that's important for us as women sometimes to, in this, in this rat race of life sometimes, and we feel like we're just going in so many different directions that sometimes we just forget um, about how sometimes those really small things that we do for ourselves can make such a big impact. So I want to encourage you as you're thinking about spring, and you're seeing all the great spring clothes and you're thinking, wow, this looks great. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Revisit what you have. Repurpose it, whether it goes to um, a shelter, whether it goes to the girlfriends, whether it goes to Goodwill. And then renew. Look at some of those things that, that maybe you haven't put on in a while. And, um, and think about how they make you feel. I encourage you to do that because I think what you'll find is that it'll give you a sense of renewal um, and put a little spring into your step. I'm Rachel Kirschneider. Thanks for joining me today.